Yo, what is up, everyone? So, if you guys have uh, been following my channel at all, or EDC updates, all that jazz, you know that the Leatherman Rebar is like my go-to. I've been carrying this for a very long time. I went through the juice um, and, a, and a few others, but I really settled on the Leatherman Rebar. I absolutely love its medium kind of medium duty size and everything about it. You guys know the Leatherman Rebar, um, <clears throat> but since I started carrying a backup pistol, like this one here, um, that took up space in my left pocket where the multi-tool would usually sit at the bottom of. So, I was like, ah, I got plenty of, you know, little holsters and things like that. Let me just run through them all and try them out, um, and see which one I like. And I ended up liking none of them, um, for a few reasons. So, let me show you the first one, and... You'll probably tell by the title of this video, but when I get to the end, I'll show you what I eventually settled on and uh, how you can do it. And it's actually a really fun. You could do it with the kids. Um, it's a fun little project. But here's the first one I tried out. Uh, this was in my latest EDC update video. I had this is the one that came with the rebar, uh, but it was a little bit big for it. I don't know why. It was just so big for it. So I was throwing like my little styles uh cs in there um just to take up a little more room and have more stuff but one thing the soft loop when you put it on has a lot of movement to it which i do like soft loops but it had just had a lot of movement to it and this started happening with the velcro it started like coming frayed and the sewing actually started like ripping and then the the actual uh, I guess this would be the loop part of the hook and loop velcro started like sticking to the velcro and like I would have to like like pick it out I don't know it just it really started getting flimsy on me after like two months like just fraying everywhere and and coming loose, and I do love Leatherman, I love their products, I love everything about Leatherman, but see that? See all that fuzz? Like, that was not like that, <laughs> uh, at first, so it just started wearing really weird for me, um, love Leatherman, but don't really like that, so I was like, alright, I want to try, try a different one, so I got this Night Eyes, and this fits, but it is just too big of a holster for this multi-tool. I mean, this is meant for, like, a phone. And nonetheless, you could put a little backup flashlight. You could put other stuff down there, but then that just adds weight. Uh, you could put, they have on their thing, you could put, uh, like, credit cards in this elastic in the back. You could put a pen um, and then you can even put stuff in the back, and then pull this up and actually have stuff, like, strapped down there. Um, the clip is awesome. I like the clip. It's a little funky to get on and off. You don't really know where you are, and then this bottom hook gets caught on your belt, and it's just kind of weird. Uh, but it's super, super secure. Um, and it also rotates to different cants. Whatever you want, if you want it sideways, whatever. So this... I really like, but maybe I just need to buy a smaller version of it. Not quite sure. I could use this for other things, though. I could throw some spare mags in there um, for my 43 or my Glock 19. But So I went to that, and I was just like, that's a little bit too big. So I had this that came with another leather mint of mine, and this is, like, absolutely perfect. This holds the multi-tool and has a slim super slim profile and when it when you when it's on you it's just nice and thin they have uh, the actual hook part or the loop part of the velcro is on the flap as opposed to this where the hook part is on the body of the holster um, so that's a different design it's not gonna tear up this and I just like the idea of this I love it but I don't like thread through uh, holsters. I just don't. I know clips can come unclipped and things like that, but the the gun belt that I wear is so thick 
that most clips I ever wear just snap on with a lot of retention and they're not going anywhere. So I love this, but I just don't like the thread through. It just takes a while, and if you wear it on your left side, you got to feed your whole belt through the other. It's just it's just annoying to me, but this is what I was going for. So, I stopped by Hobby Lobby where I had I needed more uh, uh, sheets of tooling leather because I have a few ideas of stuff I want to make. And I saw this. Multi-tool case kit. And I was like, oh, hells yeah. Uh, you can pause and read everything it contains, pre-punched. Uh, and then the main thing, the thing I saw first off, once I saw this, I turned the package around, and I saw the nice metal clip. I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm buying this. Um, they have it set up for, you can put a mag light on there. That's a little ridiculous to me. The lights I carry normally are like far, far superior <laughs> uh, to a mag light like that. Like this, you know, like 900 lumens. And smaller anyway. It's like almost the size of the picture. <laughs> um, but that was this is optional with the kit. You don't have to do it. Um, in fact, I still have it, and I might buy another one and and put that on and maybe recut it and size it to um, my Olight or I don't know. Um, but you can see everything comes with. That's the side pocket, front, center with flap, and that's the back. And then it comes with a thread and needle. So, guys, seriously, if you got kids, this is like a super fun project. Literally, you just, you have all the pieces, it's kind of like a little puzzle. Oh, and this, by the way, it was ten bucks. I don't know if the price is still... No, I guess the price was on the plastic thing, but ten dollars for that. Awesomeness. So, let's look at what I actually did. I didn't do any of the crazy designs. I did put my initials on the back. Uh, but I basically just put it together, sewed it, and uh, stained it with a uh, leather dye. So that's that. And this gives me the effect of this one. Actually smaller, narrower, a little bit thicker, but when the multi-tool is in it, um, it's about the same. Um, you could I, I wet it and then dried it so that it fits either way very easily and comes out very easily so yeah guys just a quick little little video if you if you have a problem uh, figure out a way to solve it and I had a problem with not having the most comfortable holster so I freaking made one <laughs> um, but has the nice leather look I'm sure it'll wear very well it's real thick, really sturdy. Just real sturdy. I mean, I'm pushing hard on that. And it's not even folding the corner in. But basically you just put the pieces together and start sewing. And it shows you exactly how to sew in that. But, yeah guys. Just figured I'd let you guys know that these little kits are out there. Um, I'll roll some pictures after this of how the kit looked um, as I was putting it together and dyeing it and and things like that. But uh, while I was there at Hobby Lobby, they had a bunch of other kits. They have a little kit like this for a bifold wallet. Um, they have like belt kits to make a like a gun belt, um, bracelets, purses, you know, all kind of things. So. If you guys have like a craft store around you, they might carry things like this. And uh, if you've ever been interested in making leather or anything, uh, go check go check it all out. Um, I'm sure they have it on their website. But yeah, guys, just want to show you a fun little project that I did. Thanks for watching and have a good one.